Hello, my name is Federica Rossi, training manager for Unidida. Unidida is a young Italian company established in 2010 in Turin, the automotive capital of Italy. Our mission is to provide technologically advanced but easy to use instruments for teachers. It's easy to state that digital technology is more and more used in education and many teachers find themselves having to use futuristic advanced devices. Such devices can give a boost to traditional teaching methods. We of Unidida decided to offer easy-to-use computer-based instruments that can actually simplify a teacher's life. We started off with the preschools and primary schools, but the software is designed for any age group and level. Our main products are the Interadesk and Dida Framework. The Interadesk is an interactive notebook, a desk with a built-in computer and a special touchscreen device called a pen tablet display, which only works at the touch of a digital pen. This is not a traditional touchscreen, that is, the parts won't move if they are inadvertently touched by any part of the hand. The student must use the pen to move objects. This lets, especially the younger children, concentrate on what they have to do rather than on coordinating the mouse movements with the cursors. The Interadesk can be integrated into a regular classroom environment so that children who need to do more exercises can. It can be suggested for children with certain learning disabilities, for foreign children, or even for kids who have been absent for long periods of time. The desk can easily be connected to the interactive whiteboards and the teacher, in this way, can control which exercises the student needs to practice on and when. An optimal solution is the InteraLab, a laboratory in which several InteraDesks are connected to an interactive whiteboard that has a PC that acts as a service at the head of the class. The teacher can take the class to this laboratory regularly, once or twice a week, in order to consolidate and practice the notions learned in class during the week. Now let's have a look at Dida Framework. We will call it Cliccolo from now on. We should consider Cliccolo as a big container which can house an increasing number of learning resources. It already has a great number of ready-to-use learning resources, but what is important is that it is very easy to create and insert new resources in an integrated manner. In a nutshell, Cliccolo is a practice center with hundreds of exercises. The exercises are specifically thought up in cooperation with school teachers and with qualified school book authors. Cliccolo is the main character who often speaks and interacts directly with the children. Cliccolo is the friendly gnome who loves to teach and his face is already familiar. Nowadays, we often hear people say that all books will soon be replaced by digital ones and that the new generations won't know how to write their names without a keyboard. We don't agree with this and we don't believe that this is the correct direction. We believe that it is important to offer technologically advanced solutions to be integrated in traditional teaching. This is why Cliccolo keeps the focus on the teacher. The teacher conducts the lesson and decides which exercises the students must carry out and when. The teacher can decide to pause the program in any given time and can easily go back and forth according to the class's needs. That's why Cliccolo must be easy to use. Let's now go take a look at how Cliccolo actually works. On a whiteboard, once we've installed the program, you will see two computer icons. Many programs fill up the whole screen, but little children may have trouble reaching up to the far corners. Our simple solution was to make Cliccolo adaptable by simply putting it into a window format. And there you have Cliccolo Kids. The second symbol is a traditional full screen Cliccolo. For demonstrative purposes, today we will open it up in this way. Let's knock on the icon. Welcome! Look at the pictures on your card and copy them and let's get started! Ciao Cliccolo! Cliccolo has asked me to put the symbols of my identity card into the correct slots 
so that we can begin. This is my ID card. It's blue and has my name on it and three symbols. I just have to repeat the sequence to enter into the program. I'm actually inserting a three-digit login code, but I don't really need to know this. If I don't have an ID card, because I'm using a demo version, I can simply touch this button up here. Logging in has different advantages. For one, the system recognizes me, and especially if I'm a kid, this makes me very happy. In second place, from this moment on, everything that I do will be recorded on the computer, and it is possible to see my progress and what I need to work on more. The system also remembers where I've gotten up to, so that the next time I enter, even after days or weeks, I can start off from where I last left off. If you are supplied a class ID card, the system will simply record the class's overall progress. Many exercises adapt to the child's abilities. This means that the difficulty of many exercises is adjusted to the student's capabilities. This is a really important factor when Clicolo is being used in a laboratory and each student has his or her own ID card. For the teacher, this is a great advantage. The class will go forward at the same pace. Welcome! Choose the learning resource by entering a keyword or title. Scroll the list up or down and choose a learning resource, then touch the green button. Clicolo told me to either scroll up and down in the menu to find the learning resources I'm looking for, or to enter a keyword. If I were a second grade math teacher, I could go here and look at what's available. Or I can start to write what I need. For example, writing... The system will show me all the possible times tables. Then I can look at how the structure of the course is. It is divided into a certain number of activities, which can be thought of as levels or chapters. In the case of the times tables, it's easy to understand that each activity is one of the times tables. Two times, three times, or so on. If I haven't seen this resource before, I can take a look at the screenshots and actually see how it's made. To start, I just have to push the green button. Easy enough. Now let's have a look at these buttons. These buttons on the green side go forward, the yellow go back. The girl now is speaking. If I need her to stop, I will press the pause button. To make her start again, I press again the pause button, and it restarts. If I need to see the unit again from the beginning, I press the blue button, and it starts over again. If I need to go forward one unit, I can press this green button. I can see where I am by looking at these cases of apples. There are 24 units. If I need to go back for a unit, I press the yellow button, and I can see I'm going back. In a single exercise, in a single unit, it will be possible to repeat the unit five times. I can see this and my progress by the number of apples going up. Once I'm finished, I can exit through the door and close the program like this. We have seen today how easy it is to use Clicolo. Clicolo should be used regularly in class to strengthen the notions learned by practice, practice, practice. The easy concept lets anybody easily understand how it works, so you don't have to be a rocket scientist to use it. You would be surprised at hearing your students shout with joy when you ask them, let's go do grammar exercises. Thank you.